Beloved people of God, it is Rhapsody Time, Reality Time. And on this 16th of February, our dear man of God brings to you an article titled, Acutely Perceptive by the Word. Praise the Lord. We read our theme scripture from Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. And I read, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Hallelujah. In 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 15, Paul said to Timothy, Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. When you study our opening verse in the Greek Septuagint, it actually says that not only will you have good success from meditating on the word, you will also become perceptive. The Greek word is sunamai, and it means that you become sagacious or perspicacious. Your intelligence rises to a very high level. You'll find that you are acutely insightful and penetratingly perceptive. Glory to God! It reminds of what the Bible says in Psalm chapter 119, verses 98 to 100. Thou through thy commandments has made me wiser than mine enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep thy precepts. He is talking about the word of God. You might as well say, Thou through thy word has made me wiser than mine enemies. That becomes your confession. The word of God gives you the perception, the wisdom and the ability to put ideas and concepts together. Notice the latter part. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. Glory to God. God's testimonies refer to God's declarations, His declarations about Himself, about us, about His kingdom, etc. These are His testimonies. And because you meditated upon His testimonies, you have more understanding than all your teachers. Glory to God. In verse 100, it says, I understand more than the ancients because I keep thy precepts. This is part of what the Word of God will do in your life if you would give it attention. In your dealings with people, in your dealings with business, in your dealings in finances, you become wise, divinely circumspect. Praise God. That means no room for failure in your life because the Spirit of God through the Word gives you an extraordinary amplitude of mind. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can learn so much from the Rhapsody of Realities and this is one of them. Learning to make the right confessions about your life and about yourself. I now invite you to partake in this prayer together. Dear Father, I thank you for your word which imparts wisdom to me to deal excellently in all affairs of life. Through the word, I have an extraordinary amplitude of mind and comprehension. I am perspicacious and acutely insightful. Therefore, I make progress from glory to glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. As always, here are some scriptures for you to study further and meditate on to help drive the word into your spirit. In the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 15, and Joshua chapter 1, verse 8 in the Amplified Classic Translation. Hallelujah! 
You know, as a child of God, your life is an unending stream of the miraculous. You are the walking testimony of God's grace and goodness. When you are conscious of these realities, they work for you in a tremendous way. And that is why this platform has been prepared specially for God's people. If you would like to be part and parcel of the spread of the Rhapsody of Realities around the world, it's never too late. Visit smiles.tniglobal.org for more information today. And kindly reach out to us in the comment section if you have any testimonies. Email us in the description given if you would like to join the Translators Network International for the Rhapsody of Realities. God bless you. salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart into my spirit thank you Lord for saving my soul I have eternal life now I'm a child of God now I am born again thank you Lord if you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris congratulations welcome to the family of God Rhapsody of Realities Giving you life for meaning every day My life made perfect with Rhapsody